Hello, the Rebel, and welcome back to the Cold War uh, Iron Curtain mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. French Lover. Mr. France Lover. Well, Mr. Debt Hater as well. But the fall of Antoine Pinay's government. The conservative government of Antoine Pinay ended as his ministerial co coalition broke up. Pinay, who nearly avoided being declared a collaborator for his wartime support of Pitan, was able to organize support from conservatives in the National Assembly. He spent his brief term focused on restoring the finances of the country, but won again. The lack of clear majorities in the National Assembly made his government vulnerable from the outset. From some now solid Frenchmen now wonder what the ex change exactly changed from the Third to the Fourth Republic. Pierre Mendes France assumes office, or René Maier. So apparently it's 53. France had like three prime ministers, apparently, but the historical one is René Maier, and that's actually um, the way we're going to go with. We are in historical. Wow, that is a pipe. Wow! And right now we're playing Courant of Construction of Low Income Housing. At first I thought this said Coruscant. Coruscant? Coruscant? But not quite. Uh, but yeah, we were... Actually, I took it alone because we were looking really bad. I, we... I don't know what happened here. But like, oh my goodness. The economy is god-awful. Maze, uh, rest of domestic bonds. Uh, we can close out of this one. Yeah, we have... we got a lot of comps to go through as well, but... It's so bad right now. Talk to loans. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Great Britain op completes Operation Grapple. GB has successfully performed a thermonuclear test and now joined the world stage as a nuclear power. They are expected to begin a proliferation of high-level nuclear weapons soon and be able to be fully capable within a year. Uh, d d within a year. Historical. Uh, good night, comrade. Good night. So yeah, also, if you click on this, uh, the game will crash. So let's not click on that. Uh, well, the GDP is looking better already. Not bad. Growth is negative 10%, roughly. Which is terrible. Um, but other than that, we're doing okay. Recently implemented economic reform. Um, privatization campaign. I don't want to hurt ourselves that badly. I refuse to get rid of extra political power. Increase exports. Mm, blind eyed, unsafe uh, women in the workforce. I mean, that's fine, but I don't want to lose. Anything else here? I don't mind increasing exports, maybe? Just so that IMF has way less influence over us. It's so bad here, but, but we did have to get this one. Which will cost us $150 billion, so we have at least have enough. We might have to take off our loans, but... Purging the Muscovite wing, okay? Um, austerity measures... Have an impact on war exhaustion. Remove minor welfare spending, so we get no welfare spending. Gain austerity minus 3% consumer goods. And we get national strikes. Oh god. Finances revision decree? Um, let's do this one first, because the other one seems really not good for us. Oh my goodness. We get... We lose the stuff from centralization. Nine billion still. Not bad, not bad. We're still trying to build ourselves up here. Um, so this one says that we have austerity measures, and we remove welfare spending. I might just save our political power here, and go back up to minor welfare spending, because I honestly don't mind it. If we get more political power. We have no education system. We have local sovereignty. We're almost like in the medieval stage of, like, funding for everything here. With... Three anti campaign. Ah. But at least we don't have to deal with Vietnam. Right? Hopefully, Vietnam doesn't want too much independence. You never know, though. You never really know. But at this point, we're going to be building up a lot of industry, a lot of basically civilian factories, as well as building up a lot of office parks just to make more money. Because at this point, it's, it's, it's just too bad. We just want to modify the country. Um, industrial park research speed, industrial park construction speed. I mean,. Uh, I guess since we are making them anyways, material designers, research speed doesn't really matter too much. Airbus stuff here, not doesn't really matter too much. Reliability is really nice. More agility stuff like this. Levasseur, not bad. We have FCM, and then we also have Renault, and over here just it doesn't. Ooh, tanks get minus three percent armor. No god, no, that's so bad. If anything, you want more armor. You don't want to lose armor. Yeah, but economy-wise, we're, we're hurting so bad. It's, it's so bad. It's, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's just not... <sighs> Monthly financial pulse, white paper. Current debt is three quarters of a billion dollars. I might do that one. I mean, heavy traditionalism is okay. We get equality instead, so... We get worse monthly population. We get 5% more recruitable population factor. And growth goes up to 20. Okay, maybe we can promote women in the work workforce. That's kind of okay. Um, and I just doing this to lower the IMF influence as much as possible. That's the main thing. Honestly, you know what? I don't want to devalue our currency. Ooh, actually. 
That's not too bad either. We already have currency devaluation, but you can get better consumer goods and more construction speed. We can union protections. It's okay. Especially since we're going to go and have austerity measures anyways. It's not a terrible thing. So yeah, maybe we'll actually do that one. We'll do rollback welfare state. We failed coup in Iran. And then we can do our other focus, which will be okay. Get some money. And actually, so yeah. So how's war exhaustion on us? European development, not really doing too much. NATO member. Ooh. Pack National Strikes 1. That's not good. Flight of the Shah. Recent austerity measures. We removed... Oh my goodness. That's so bad. Recently defaulted on debt. That's really bad. Um, currency valuation already. Um, then we have hedonistic outlook, which is not great. State directed economy. Not good. We have inflation rate of 0%. Uh, weekend safety regulations. We get more construction speed. Something in Tehran. And we have some coffee to keep us nice and warm as too. Riding. Ah, oh, just riding. Whatever. Increase exports. Okay. Well, that's fine. And war exhaustion. Which actually, it only hurts to get mobilization speed. But, oh, Operation Paper, the invasion of Yunnan. After the fall of the mainland troops loyal to Mao Zedong, an insurgency was established in Burma by Li Mi, a nationalist general that had formed the backbone of what was to become the Yunnan Province Anti Communist and National Salvation Army, which was supported by both Taiwan and the U.S. As Chinese forces started to mount troops on the border with Korea, the Americans urged nationalist insurgents to mount an attack on the province of Vietnam, trying, tying the PRC on a conflict with those, these insurgents while also preventing itself, or presenting itself as a key to a renewed nationalist attack into the mainland, which would break the Maoist forces and bring China into control of Chiang Kai-shek once again. As soon as these troops them set themselves inside Yunnan, they would capture airfields that would allow American forces to send supplies in order to maintain the invasion, while Li Mi was more dedicated to using incursion into Yunnan as a key to receive American weaponry, retreat into Burma and fortify the insurgency. Whether any of these plans will succeed is but a mystery to both the general that commands the insurgency and Generalissimo in Taiwan. That's actually really good now. War exhaustion is looking pretty good. A surprising move. Help us out, please. Please, please. We could really use it. Oh, we got more money too, which is good for now. Urban planning, it is only 1953. So all this stuff up here at the top is done. Let's go back over here for computers. Anything in 50, 1950 at all that we need? No. Space stuff? Why not? We have no money, but we still want to go to space. And we only have six divisions in total. Oh my goodness, it's so bad. Public 8.55%. Or billion, I guess, not even percent. Spending the most on here. Get a couple planes right there. Um, how many planes do we actually have? We have New, New Caledonia. And the ones down there. That's literally it. Um, well, the clemency campaign launched for the Rosenbergs. Do not permit historical fear to override justice. Eh. Alright. Oh, election's incoming. Oh, crap. Okay, so now we can get. So, 18%. Uh, we're gonna lose some political power, that's fine. 9% is not bad. Now, we still got one a day, that's not bad. So then, 9% influence, I'll see measure. We're gonna lose that anyways, so that's fine. Auction of the king's possessions, and once we go back, and then we're gonna go up here too. So actually, how does that affect the GDP? 9 billion doesn't really seem like it really affects it too much, but we'll see. You never know. I'm trying to build, 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 build. Paul stick, that's fine. Complete the SAF, or SAP. Structural adjustment program. Fine. And we lost all of our stability. Oh my goodness. Pro employer, state media, PAC national strikes two. Recent austerity measures recently defaulted on debt. Oh. Completed six focuses of the military branch. Okay, well. There's that. There's not much else we can do here. So I guess a less ambitious plan. Spent four billion dollars. Continue the Barjot plan. I'd rather spend... Let's do a reception of the M46. We remove $7 billion from the treasury, which is fine. Li U.S. liaison officers and reception of the M47 patent. Well, that's to be after June. $7 billion. I guess we'll go with uh, the South Orangan. And now, everyone, we have got someone new. Joseph Laniel. And we're giving autonomy to Tunisia now as well. Unfortunate, but it is a necessary evil. Now we'll just settle the European defense community question. If you're wondering about the coronation of King Saud, please go ahead, as well as the death of King Ibn Saud. Please go ahead. May you rest in peace, and long live the king. The new king. Now we, of course, have no stability. We've got well, a little bit of political power. We're going to have elections incoming soon. But now we have uh, the Kingdom of Tunis here. So hopefully they won't be too upset with us. But hey, they're still in our faction, which is pretty good. Um, they're still our puppet, or satellite state. So I'm, I'm pretty okay with that as well. Uh, welfare state. They have largely reduced military costs, advanced universal health care. 
Allows a fair economy. Not aligned. Oh, not bad. Uh, they have a central intelligence agency, but we need stability, man. We need a lot of things. Playing as France is not easy. Um, and we still have some more comments to go through as well. Actually, I didn't go through any of them yet. Such as what? First one. Is this series going to be long? Well, we'll see. I'll try to go as long as we possibly can. But there's no guarantee, of course. Uh, we did all the focuses up here. We have 53 presidential elections coming up as well. Very... Well, it's almost 54, so we should have one coming very, very soon, actually. So I also did... Uh, which one? This one. Land American Aircrafts. That's okay. I don't know if we can really afford extending welfare. So... Let's see. As much as I want that extra political power, that'd be really nice to get. I just don't think we can get that. We'll go with strategic nationalism because it gives us more max factories for 10 years output. And we go from state directed economy zero to state directed economy basically one. So, the question of the European Defense Committee, esc.1.d. I love that one. So, strategic nationalism. It's because we can't afford too much here, which really, really sucks. Taxes. Not bad. Our growth rate is negative 79%. That sounds really bad. That sounds really god awful. Um, after this one though, we'll probably do anti-communism just to make us feel really good. No Maoists here, no Marxist Leninists, no revolutionary socialists here. So, uh, we'll get a lot more support actually. Fore, not bad. Uh, basic. Eh, I don't really want to lower it, but if we have to, I will. Just because we need more money, and we have a lot of debt already, so that's not good. All oh, the counts included. Uh, if I want to play as the USSR in the Soviet Union. A Malenkov Soviet run requires you to rush to the right side of the, press, uh, the focus tree, but the National Assembly held an election for the next president of France under the Fourth Republic. The position is largely ceremonial, but the election exposed how deeply divided the National Assembly remains. The wing, winning candidate must achieve an absolute majority, but after 12 rounds of voting, no candidate was able to secure it. The Assembly remained divided over electing a socialist or conservative candidate. When the 13th ballot arrived, a compromise candidate, the conservative liberal René Coty, who only emerged in the 11th round, was able to secure the notes necessary to be elected. The new president will be sworn in shortly, but is not expected to play any major role in, uh, as a political influencer. French Republic completes 50? Okay. Alright, whatever. I'll be honest, I have no idea who is supposed to win here. Um, yeah, I, I, I literally have no idea who is supposed to win there, so let's look it up. French, or France, in 1953. You can't see, but I'm actually looking at it off screen right now. France in 1953, and uh, President of the Council of Ministers. Oh, yeah, Joseph Lanyo is supposed to be them. Um, how about France in 1954? France in 54. Oh. So, let's see, who's Radicals? We'll see. Because yeah, I just pulled it up right now off screen. Um, follow the... Okay. I don't know why we can't pay off debt. Like, can we not pay off a portion? Because we got a lot of debt. Oh, what is this? Yeah, I don't want to do any of this stuff just because it doesn't... It's not good for us. I don't mind going to minimum services and stuff, but still. Um, I wish we could spend political power doing more stuff. Okay, so. Um, if you want to the new guy for appointed president of Yugoslavia, please go ahead. Interesting. I like their hats. Very nice hats, actually. So. Strategic NASA? National Assembly. Oh, we spent $100 billion. That's all right. Probably get some more consumer goods so we can just keep building. Build, build, build. My goodness, it takes so long to build, but we need to build. Uh, nice. Five more days, not bad. Not bad. We'll go as far as we can in this campaign, too, so. No guarantees for anything, but we'll do the best we can. A few more days left. And, yeah. I'm not sure why this is not fired yet. It's probably just because. Oh! Oh! Ratification of the EDC Treaty. Form the Western European Union. Well, okay. As much as I'm doing anti communism, we'll do this one. For the Western European Union? That sounds like fun. Sounds good to me. And what else? Military stuff? Sure. Why not, right? Because it says, I think in, starting January 16th, we should have a new president, right? Or maybe not. Maybe June 19th. Well, it's already February, so. I guess we'll wait and see uh, what happens. Now, everyone, if you want to read about Khrushchev condemns the Leningrad affair, please go right ahead. Uh, additionally, um, I, we did do form the Western European Union, and we're supposed to get an event creation, but it was literally a newspaper without any sort of text or events. So, you literally missed nothing when when uh, when I did that one. So, it's unfortunate. Increase corporate tax rates. Ooh, remove. Ooh, we're fifteen percent. We want to go twenty-five percent. We actually from fifty percent to twenty-five percent, you get five percent more construction speed, huh? You lose some cap. You lose some output. You lose some out uh, some fa uh, factory and dockyard output. And you lose hundred political power, which is fine. 
Declare a state of emergency here as well. I don't want to lose it. Actually, you know what? Let's do this one first. Let's see if we don't have any stability anyways. So, as MTLD behind the recent attacks, following recent terror attack in Algeria, there are many. And the government of the nat nationalist MTLT party is the architect. MTLD replaced her previous and nationalist party after it was banned. Her intelligence reports that the party has a lot of infighting, especially between moderates and extremists. Perhaps a faction of the party orchestrated the attack. However, other sources suggest the attack may have originated from the new group seeking to establish itself. The investigation is ongoing. Put Musali Haj under house arrest and ban the movement. Collaborate with to bring the peace in Algeria. Escalating things sounds like fun. Let's escalate things. Now, probably the other one. I, I literally don't know what happened. Uh, Algeria independence. Let's look it up. Algeria independence, uh, 1954. Because I, I could not tell you a single thing about Algerian independence. Oh, there's a revolt. Oh, from 54 to 62. Oh, crap. Well, I think he's got some cruise missiles. Here, you can have that one too. It doesn't matter what we research really too much to me. I just want to pay off for debt, god dang it. Current debt, 700 billion. That's better than it was earlier. I think it was three quarters of a billion. Of a trillion, actually, no, wait. Never mind. Oh. Oh, crap. Um, we are still building our stuff, up, which is really nice. Office park, industrial parks, very good stuff. Um, yeah, with only six divisions, and two of them actually being relatively decent. Well, decent-ish. Uh, honestly, heavy artillery. Let's take a look here. Oh, I'm going to build up his guard head. Infantry divisions. Well, I don't mind entertaining cannons. Ooh, captive European nations, of course. Another American diplomatic front. Alright. So we have light artillery. Follow Lenil's government. PMF it is. Pierre Mendez of France. Alright, we'll look at him in just a little bit. We have artillery. 30 defense of 45 soft attack. This gives you 32.5 defense and 30 soft attack. Wait, they both give you... Well... So tree enter... Um, heavy arties, normal arty. Uh, actually, production cost goes down. He has quite a bit of defense, though. 25. What would happen if we went to heavy artillery? It's still 25. Two artilleries and one heavy. Uh, just go to normal artillery. That's fine. Will we have enough mediums? That's fine. Um, honestly, anti tank is nice and all. Is there anything else for two comb combat width? That we can add. Maybe just another infantry. That's not bad. Artillery is three. Because I want to get the 27 combat with. 27 combat with is pretty good, actually. Uh, actually, two anti tanks. Anti tank cannons. Uh, honestly, maybe throw, throwing one more on here would not be a bad idea. Because artillery is three. Eh, you know what? You could probably do that. That would probably be fine. So, 27 combat with is really quite ideal. You get more defense, you get more anti air, you get more hard attack, soft attack, organization, suppression, which doesn't matter, more HP. Now, that's not a bad combo with. It doesn't really affect us too much, even though we're spending quite a bit of army XP. But it makes the division combo with just much slightly more optimal where it needs to be. So, uh, declare a state of emergency since we already have no stability. Get some extra political power. After that, ooh, ooh, I don't mind getting more money. And actually getting 5% more construction. But, but I do want to get an office park immediately. Get more industrial parks. Um, get more estate infrastructure. I mean, both of these are really good. This will give us more money overall, though, which is really nice. We could really use more money. Replace the Algerian governor. We lose a lot of political power. So, I think we'll probably get the FDES maybe next. Followed up with increased corporate tax rates. And then replace the governor of Algeria. Unfortunately, there's no real description here. Which does uh, kind of suck. Ooh, now we have the Front de Liberation Nationale, the FLN. is an Algerian nationalist party that desires completed independence and sovereignty from France. The FLN is a militant splinter group from the movement for the triumph of democratic liberties. And takes a strict approach against the dissent of French rule. Although independence is overwhelmingly supported throughout Algeria, there are significant numbers of Algerians who pose a group namely threatened political dissidents and those concerned with the motives behind the FLN's insurgency. For France to win, the Algerian manpower must be depleted to the point resistance is untenable. All three centers of conflict must have an Algerian manpower pool of zero. Oh, crap. Increased police deployments? We lose some more support? It's fine, whatever. Um, let's see. Launch operation in Oran. Fighting is broken on Algeria without Oran province. We must react quickly. Oh, God. What happened? So now we're a state of war with the National Liberation Front. So now... Oh, we got some extra divisions. That's nice. Uh, focus over here first. Actually, you know what? There are divisions down here that need to be eliminated. I don't know if we'll be able to do anything this way. Ooh, I want to get build up first. Oh, please don't crash. For the love of God, please do not crash. Uh, at least we have militia divisions. That's kind of nice. You guys can just 
Oh, can you not go in there? Can you win there? Oh uh, no, we'll see. They're struggling a little bit right here, though. It's not good. We have some research. I'm not exactly sure how this is supposed to be divided up because this looks incredibly messy. Like, oh my goodness. Let's go right there if you want to. Um. No, oh, there are the oh, there are the divisions. So we are at war now. Hired commandos. We need a lot of political power for mercenaries. That's fine, whatever. Operation Iran has full control of Iran. This is kind of a mess. I don't think I like how this is set up, honestly. Can we force the attack? Landlord class aside? Um, siege artillery. Fort they don't have forts here. It's, yeah, it's just... Can we force it? Try to force it. Just so because we need, we need to win now. Like, as fast as possible. Come on. Did we win? At least one battle? Why can't we go in there? I don't understand. How's... This literally makes no sense how this is all set up. Can't get in there either. Is it just that you're supposed to defeat the enemies and stuff? Is that it? This makes no sense. This literally makes no sense. I'm gonna try to defeat them as best as, as possible, but still. This guy's not bad on attack. Force it again. Lumberg Trials. 20th Congress of the CPSU. Alright. How are we supposed to win this? Like, we, we literally go to war as fast as we possibly can to defeat the enemy units, but... French Vic... Okay, resulting in zero... Cap Uh, okay, well, we killed them all. Okay, I don't understand this. Is Constantine over here? Where is Constantine? Uh, please hold and go around. Yeah, go that way. Wait, why do we go? We're going to do two of our divisions. Are they going to rise up here, maybe? I don't own that, but that's not part of that tile. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. And replace the governor with Roger Leonard. Yeah, they did... Wait, what happened to our other... We had two other, like, other divisions here. And then we had one other... Oh my goodness. Dude, why are you going the super long way around, man? I I literally don't know. Can you get? Well, you're up there anyways. Let's go and save, and I guess we'll try the other one. I guess this feels very kind of like unfinished and stuff. But you know, it's not, I'm not trying to insult the devs or anything like that. It's just it feels just like a work of progress. I'll put it like that. No, but recent conflicts, so we can't do anything yet, which is fine, I guess. I guess. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully we can do some more stuff. A little more entrenched would be very nice. It would be very, very nice. Other comments included. Uh, we have insane elections. Yeah. A lot of removal of leaders. Yeah. We have Pierre Mendes, France. It's weird when you're leading a country called France and your name is actually France. So, it is what it is, I guess. Hey, that's pretty nice actually to get that one too. And now we're going to lose um, some political power. Which is not really an issue, so... Uh, oh, wow, Warsburg goes way down. Holy crap. But that's a lot more construction speed and political power, though. Not bad. Another uh, quite, uh, comment was, do the Republic of China, but lose on the mainland so you can place Taiwan. Yeah, actually, what type of... Yeah, do they need focus tree? Yeah, they do. Hyperinflation crisis? Yeah, abandoned hope. Declaration of martial law. Temporary provisions. Growing paranoia. Ku arrest Sun Li Zhen. Zhen. Interesting, interesting. Oh, here we go. We can do this again. That's not bad. Oh, I'll do them all. Actually, we don't need to do them all, probably. Just probably Constantine. My bad. Oh, well. Who's this? French Morocco? French Morocco. Oh, huh. you know Morocco? 
I guess we don't do one from Morocco. I thought Spain owned Morocco. Um, so what do these guys up to? Uh, nothing. They do not have a unique folks too, which is fine. I just want to make sure that we can win and do well here. That's my greatest goal. Uh, ship to center. There you go. Why not? And after this, well, nothing else in mean, here too. Uh, we can still do stuff down here. Uh, reception of the M47 Patton. Which is fine. And we can expand welfare. Oh. Oh, after 56. It it's... Oh. SFIO victory. Oh. We must react quickly. Uh, okay. Are these divisions are the, these are the only divisions that can move in here? This makes no sense, man. Well, we got him. I guess. Uh, hope I'm doing this right. Should be. Still at war. Wow. Oh, European coal and steel community. They have a factory. Uh, this makes no sense. Well, I guess we have to wait to, uh... Constantine, that'd be good. We don't need these two. That'd be fine. And the Algerian Uprising? I'd love to do that, but, uh... As a piece... Oh, then we can do Constantine next, hopefully. That'd be good. Uh, I don't want to use Khan's commands to just annex Algeria. We'll see what happens. Oh, we're going to follow the government again very soon, too. And we're about to get another industrial park as well. But, another comment was... Oh! Yeah. Okay, that's nice. We're back at peace, and we have, like, no score. Alright, then. Oh, do we get a tile? Comment was, do East Germany. Yeah, East Germany would be something fun. Maybe start World War III this way. Yeah, definitely want to do East Germany sometime. That sounds like fun. Even though I wish this mob would move faster, but I understand why it's so laggy. So I do understand, you know. Oh. Oh, hello. Wait, what? I thought we got rid of those guys. They had zero earlier. How many, uh... So many Muslims, huh? No? Alright. Um, and Iran? There's nothing there. Uh, so, yeah, also, if someone was asking, is this updated with No Step Back? Yes, it is. Literally updated with No Step Back, so... Yeah, that's why I decided to play it, as well as people recommended my Discord server, so... Um, oh. Rally the European Political Treaty Community. So vote to create the European Political Community. EDC Forum. Propose Saarbrücken for the seat. Or increase military presence in Algeria. If you complete this decision fired by selecting this focus, you might be able to turn the following negative efforts into positive ones. Scruntled. Oh my goodness. There's all oh, gains divided. Oh crap. I guess increase military presence in Al I guess? Dude, I have no idea, man. We'll try it. Why not? Why not? Um, we're at peace, though, for now. We'll see how long the peace lasts. And someone says, is, is this going to be a pro-colonial French one? I'm just going to try to keep as many colonies under us as possible. There's not going to be any guarantees we can keep them, but, like, I'll do the best as I can, as you can kind of tell. Uh, it's kind of janky, not going to lie. This feels quite janky, so... If you want to build a Soviet flying submarine program, please go right ahead. Nothing there. Your debt is $670 billion. So we're slowly going down. Which is not bad. Um, we can do that one, which is fine. The words are worse, but that's okay. We're getting more manpower back in Boyera. So... In Oran? No. 
That one's good as well. So why can we do this? No recent conflicts. And now we're out of coffee. Nothing about Cameroon yet, which is good. Hmm. Keep building. Hmm. Well, we're going to have a fall of the government very soon as well. And this growth rate is not positive, 7%. It's better than what, what it once was. Wow, look at that. Oh, up, and then, oh, crash. Boom. Oh, boy. Not super buenable. We'll keep building up office parks. It'll be done on May 14th, so a couple more months. Oh, here we go. Um, you know what? Let's save. I, I just don't understand how this is supposed to operate. So we'll save. See what we can do in attacking Constantine. Hopefully it goes okay. We must react quickly. Okay, okay. How do we get eight more divisions? What the heck? Um, you can go there first. Get to them. Kill them off if you can. You're not gonna win there, son. Why? Why has it been set up like this? I don't understand. This is one of the most jankiest way to do anything here. Force it. Take him here and then take him there. Um, manpower issues don't really concern me too much. Camille Ibn Ahmad? Drop him, drop him, drop him. Declaration of the Republic of India, that's nice and all. Now run. Well, did we win? Oh, you guys a hold. Uh, I think we won, right? Go ahead and move in if you can, please. Please. Well, welcome back, Foray. Uh, uh, oh, what happened to the militarized zones? Um, I guess dissolve the Assemblée Nationale. Well, that doesn't look very good for us. 164 casualties versus 24,000 casualties? Not enough. I guess we'll probably end up going back here too. I, mean, I like the extra army XP, but still, um, looking slightly better for the debt. Domestic bond pools are determined by the number of office parks in your country. Just we have a state of emergency declared here. Follow the government 300 days. Nothing there for votes. Foreign policy. TU 114 program, propaganda campaign. If you want to know about that, please go ahead too. Constantine, no, we're looking pretty good about Constantine now too. The victory for Soviet aviation. 8.15 billion in GDP. Half a billion in uh, that, that's not bad. I don't understand why we just can't pay off some of the debt. Because I'm sure we have debt interest, right? Right? Zero, zero. Oh, crap. The Bamilake War? Um, current strength and the war. There's nothing I can do. We gotta deal with these. Actually, is it literally just all um, militia doing this? Because that's the case. Well, let's save. And I'll send these guys down to that part of Africa. But then again, it might still be the exact same issue. So. Where's that M word? Well, at the very least, get down here first. That we just saw. Mar. Oh, you're up there. Okay. Interesting. Yola? Oh my gosh. You're going. Th oh, that's a bad idea. They're moving relatively quickly. So. Not terrible. Could be better though. 
Sigma cargo, huh? Underwater demo teams? It's kinda cool. Oh crap, what's happening? National NFL, NLF. No? Yeah, I think the devs need to explain this a little bit better. Why does Oron getting more strength back? This doesn't make any sense, man. Hmm. Draft party declaration. All right. Pakistan condemns Afghani threats. All right. King Faisal appointed prime minister. Hopefully, Prince Faisal will restore stability, but there's no guarantee. Long range missiles will blow up our enemies. Actually, it's 55, so we should be come back over here and do some of this stuff. Research speed, yes. Well, you're actually almost down here already, which is actually pretty nice. Well, game, can you tell me what to do? Got a lot of infamy. It doesn't say we're at war, but it says we're at war. But we're not, but we are. Okay, so here we go. We can do it again. Probably... Boy, right? You know, just in case, let's save, maybe? Yeah, we definitely need an explanation for all this stuff. And right, now we have seven divisions. You guys just force it, huh? They have no leader, which is fine with us. And Jacques Massou is learning how to become a commando, a jungle rat, and maybe an infantry leader as well. That'd be phenomenal. I think it's just something that's just stay with stay with us the entire time. So um Russia considered diplomatic options in Indian China. The American president sent his Secretary of State to deliver a message to our government during a recent visit. The Americans believe the current situation in China is deteriorating and our continued operations will lead to disaster. They're urging us to consider and begin a diplomatic resolution for the conflict, although not explicitly stated. It was implied that our refusal to begin any talks may be result in a reduction of American aid, especially in military aid. Senior defense officials believe such a scenario uh, may be catastrophic to our ability to maintain this fight. Perhaps it's time to end this war and dispatch our two senior diplomatic and political leaders to begin the process of starting talks, noted. What do you mean? Uh, can I just go here now? No? Okay. Okay. Um. Is that all wrong we did? That was Builder. Nah, no. We could upgrade the state, but I'm not going to waste money on them. They're going to rebel against us, so. Well, for policy cooldown change. Go in Yemen? Well, unless there's something major that's going to happen. We're doing Ameri land American aircraft. There's nothing about the election we can do. Okay. We kill off 24,000 Algerians again. I guess we have to wait to 56 for this one. CNIP victory. Ceasefire in Algeria. I guess we'll see. Um, up after this one, I guess we'll do American Thunder Jets. And then create the Parachutist Commandos. And transport planes as well. I guess. What do you want about Mil Milovan Jealous Bird? Please go right ahead. Well, we've just won another time in Iran. Um... Four, minus 14,000, minus 9,000, zero in Constantine, so... I guess we might as well do this one. The demise of the Algerian Front de Liberation Nationale. After countless years, the Algerian Front de Liberation Nationale has fallen with its remaining assets scattered and its support fully diminished. The French government proclaimed victory over the FLN and has reinstated full control of the region. Despite the fires of the revolution dying out, the region will remain unstable as a result of the war. 
What will happen to Algeria in the future is uncertain. However, one thing is certain, Algeria will remain French. Yay! It's not even 56 yet. High level programming? Sure, why not? We got probably yeah, a lot of resistance. What else is new? They don't like us. We don't care, though. They can burn. Um, is there any way we can make them burn? Um, no, we're good there. We spent a, and we still have our soldiers down in other parts of Africa. Uh, occupied territories. Local autonomy. That's always good to do. We have militia here doing what the militia do. Uh, there's a, still a lot of demilitarized zones. I still want to upgrade them. I mean, we need the, as much money as we can get right now. Um, yeah, no. We're looking okay. That was a core state, huh? I mean, as much as I want to build down there, that's nice and all. Oh, here, finish that one first, because I want to. And then, we're doing transport planes uh, for Indochina, because we can. Not really much has really changed. we got about a week left on this one. I spent 50 billion, which sucks. Reception of the M47 Patton. We can still the ones on the left side here. We can still expand the welfare state. We need to begin the military reform. Uh, we need to enact social and monetary reforms, or cut ties with French Algeria. Um... So we probably need to do enact social monetary reforms, add systemized military, which is not bad. Give you twenty percent more organization. The Baghdad Pact. Uh, the U.S. has identified the Middle East as a vulnerable space through which communism may expand. American efforts to uh, form a Middle East command failed due to anti-colonial sentiments and rising Arab nationalism. And so the focus has gone to form a northern tier and contain communism by linking NATO with CETO to complete the encirclement of Moscow. This means forming an alliance that geographically would link Turkey, a NATO member, and Pakistan, a CETO member. Uh, Turkey and Iraq recently signed a treaty of cooperation called the Baghdad Pact, which called for joint resistance to outside interference and invited regional states to join in. The UK, Pakistan, and Iran agreed to join in, thus solidifying the Baghdad Pact as a regional alliance of defense, culture, and economic ties. Although the US supported the initiative and it fit the regional obje objectives, it has now refused to become a member. This raises questions about how the alliance will cooperate militarily without Amer direct American involvement. Each member state has its own interests, and aside from Iran and Turkey, neither Pakistan nor Iraq borders a communist state. On paper, the alliance looks strong, but time will tell that in practice it will become a NATO of the Muslim world. Will this bring stability to the region? Probably not. Honestly, probably not. Uh, I don't think we need to do any of this stuff anymore because we can't really afford any more. Oh, oh, 27%. It actually went up. German debt payments. Oh, crap. Well, we're still building okay, like. Mm. There you go. So, Africa. It's October 22nd ish. 13 billion, not bad. Looking a little better now. Uh, debt wise, how much debt do we have? 500 billion. Will, will not let us pay off debt. Let's expand Cento. Oh. What do you mean UPC victory? You failed coup in Saudi Arabia. If you want to know about that, please go right ahead. A close call for the King of Saud. N Viet Minh defeated. UPC victory. That is. Uh, that's not true. Are you kidding me? We're down here in Cameroon. Algeria, state of emergency declared. Well, we did well with Algeria, so... I don't know how they got more strength here, though. Um... Extend welfare, maybe? Spend 150 billion? I don't know if we can actually afford that. Because that's 100%. We might be able to. We'll see. If we can, we will. If we cannot, then so be it. Because we got enough political power that we can change it up if we really need to. Launch operation. I've broken it. Oh. Hey! Oh. oh, look at this. Okay. Yay! We had the same number of casualties. And now it's not demilitarized. Okay. <laughs> Minus 38,000 casualties. Nice. Very nice. Demographics. To Algerian. How about Algeria? Or Algiers? It's kind of mostly. Oh, well, there's a lot of Muslims there, a lot of Christians, and some Jews. Alright. Alright. Extend welfare. Let's see how much of that balloons up the budget. Um, we're just going to for 56 to see what else happens. We need the UPC uprising. The Bameleke War. Okay. Uh, so let me look it up real quick. I'm actually looking at off screen right now. Um, let's take a look. When did this happen? From 55 to 64. But really, the France got out of it in 1960, I think. Yeah. So the French will have a civil war eventually. Huh. Only produced between 61,000 and 76,000 civilian deaths. Is that all? 
The Montgomery Bus Boycott. Maybe worry about that. Please go right ahead. Um, all right. Well, it's December, which is nice. The government's going to fall again. We have 12% stability, which is better than 0% that we had earlier. We have equality. We have war. We have war exhaustion. Oh, that's good. A good amount of war exhaustion, except for the war sport thing. But whatever. <clears throat> and we're still building, so could be a lot worse for us. Could be a lot, 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 lot worse. Patent tanks, not bad. Get some more tanks if you really want to. And you guys can stop operating for now. Hold, because we can't make any more guys, so you guys go there. Alt drill, lithographic processing, main battle tanks, probably not going to make those. The no war pack, Indian annexation at the Maman and Nicobar Islands, tensions in Trieste. Lithographic processing, unlocks more weapon types, deep fording. American Joy Center, okay. So anything here for 1915? Five. Yes. Ooh, good more defense. That's fine. Extended welfare. Let's see how much we can actually afford that one. Nothing here yet. Let's go with a less ambitious plan. We get four like yours because those cost money. We don't have a ton of money. Um, well, we'll see very soon. How much is spending? Nominal welfare? One and a half political power is pretty strong, especially if we can influence other countries. Actually, can we demand money from other countries? If we can demand more money, that'd be really nice. Alright, you guys. Economic aid. Start infl military subsidies. Improve relations. Request garrisons and support. Independence of Sudan. Okay, well. Good job. Republic of Sudan until they kill themselves as well. Uh, oh, it looks like we can support it, it looks like. Welfare expenditures. It's, we're still at 8.2 billion. It was like 13 billion that we were getting money from, but other than that, that's fine. Okay. Launch operations. Here. Oh, no. Whatever will we do? Oh, crap. Maybe we shouldn't have done that one. The Air Federation. Oh, if you don't worry about that, please go ahead as well. And, uh, CNIP victory. A new force in the Middle East. Okay, if this is bugged. I'm probably going to have to do this, like, use comms commands for us. So we'll see what happens. Let's build some new destroyers. Holy crap. $700 billion. Why is it so expensive? We can take up more loans. Why do I want 18 more destroyers? Ah! Uh, well, we'll see, I guess. I guess at this point, maybe we'll take out more loans. Um, whew. Okay. Because we don't want to default. We do definitely do not want to Well, crap. Current debt. Um, 29% strength right there. I don't think the game can really handle this. Roll back to the welfare state. Foster positive business climate. We need that extra money, though. 5% influence is not much. I guess we'll see. Actually, what happens if we do do this? What happens if we fail? Three, two, one. I mean, we're there anyways, so... Vlad Muhammad V. First Asian Games. Um, I guess come back down here, I suppose. What else are you going to do about that? Not too much else. We failed. Okay, we got way more... Oh my gosh! Yeah, I don't think France is really ready to be played at all. I'll be honest. Oh, please don't hurt me that badly. Please don't make us default. Okay, we're okay. We've got so much debt, it's not even funny. Yeah, I think France is not ready to be played at all. Because now we've got nothing to do. So I'm probably going to use cons commands to make sure we can at least get one of these. I don't know which one's supposed to win. 
Um, and they'll have to do with this stuff as well, so we'll see in just a little bit. <sighs> France is not looking good. So historically, apparently, this I think the CNIP won. Then we favoritize employers. But then, so we do Lacoste in Algeria. And we're sending General Massal to Algeria. We have negative 17 billion in GDP. And, uh... Well, we're not doing so great. We're going to independence to Tunisia, I guess. Getting 100 billion dollars, but... Yeah, France is not ready. Has, have, you, have you guys, any of you guys played as France before? Industrial income. Of course, we're not having this guy sucks. He's corrupt. I'm not sure how we got this guy. But oh my gosh. It is so bad. Just. So. Bad. I don't know if this is going to be a long series. This might be the last episode because... I don't know. We'll see. we got some focuses to go through here, but like, this is bad. This is really bad. Is France supposed to be as bad? Historically, I know they didn't do great after World War II, but... Uh, and these guys are still down here, too. Uh, I don't know, man. The IMF is back. I've already lowered pretty much everything as far as low as, as, low as we can. I'm going to save this one for my economic reforms. This is so bad. Like... What is this? Oh, he's a socialist. It's not good, man. Not good. Oh, we can research stuff, too. Oh, that's good. Uh... More income, please? Yes? Please? Team weapons. Nice. French Sultan. You're going about General Secretary Anton Yugo. Please guard as well. Surprising. Ah, <sighs> it's not good. We don't even get one political power a day. Holy crap. Team weapons. Industry. Yeah, more income, please. Th France is just in the toilet. 31%? They don't tell us. Oh, there we go. Roll back the welfare state so they get even more money, maybe? I'm not going to solve all our issues, though. How do we get rid of this guy? Please. 400 days? Why? Why does it take so long to get rid of corrupt uh, politicians? Um. Yeah. So. New, sign new national loans. Extend. Oh. Why? We don't need more conscription. Use different taxes. Well, I guess I'll go here next. But I think I'm going to end it here, because I'm not sure what's supposed to happen. We'll probably assign you national loans and extend conscription times. And then we release a lot of people. So, I don't know, but I'm really not enjoying this now, because there's nothing we can do to make ourselves better. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we try to make France a better place than what it currently is. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.